Hello again. Um, today we're going to talk about our second paper, um, our worldview paper. Um, this is one of my favorite assignments for my students because I get to learn a lot about you and um, we actually get to apply things that we've been learning all along um, in this particular paper. Um, it's an interesting mesh of narrative and um, personal research kind of stuff. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about how those works. Remember, page 43, so this is chapter 2 stuff, um, a worldview is a philosophy of life, a set of beliefs and theories that helps us make sense of a wide range of issues in life. Okay, We've been writing this on tests already, um, you've seen this a couple of times already, um, and so we're going to put it in practice. Okay, Now a worldview is not necessarily the way you view the world. Okay, A, a worldview is how do you process all the stuff that comes at us every day um, through your life. How do you make sense of it? What do you do with it? How do you react to it? Um, do you accept it? Do you reject it? Um, all those things go into that. And it's something that we do mostly unconsciously. Um, and so this paper is kind of a way to make those things conscious. Um, and in that way, it's it can be a little bit painful. Um, we don't like to really look at what we believe and why we believe it um, unless we can confirm those beliefs. Um, sometimes we have to re readjust things because what we've believed all our lives is not exactly true. Um, and so this is going to help you a little bit get into the further pages, the further um, pieces of the textbook as well. Um, and so I'm going to walk through the assignment sheet. I'm going to walk through what we're going to actually do here, um, give you some due dates and things, and then kind of move on. Um, the worldview paper is a three-page paper. Okay. Um, it can be longer than that if you need it to be. Um, and I will say up front, I do not ever share information from this particular paper with anybody else ever. Okay, The um, samples you have up there are not student samples. Okay, um, They're made up. Um, so they're, they're things that I have used um, in the past for different things and they're not from students. Um, I don't share your information like this. Um, with anybody else. Um, so if you're in one of my husband's sections, I'm not going to tell him what you say on the paper. Um, it doesn't have to be super personal, um, but folks often go down that road because we're looking at what made us to be the person we are today. Okay. Now for those of you who've been around the sun a few extra times like I have, you're going to have to pick and choose. Okay. Pick a theme, pick a period of time. Um, what? How did you get to be who you are today based on you know, the last five years or whatever that works too. Um, you can go into as much detail as you need. Um, I did have one young man who wrote me a 27 page paper um, and he was only 19. Now I don't expect or necessarily want 27 page papers from everybody um, but he had been in the foster system and nobody ever asked him how did you get to be the person you are and so he wrote a lot um, and I was very honored to be able to read that from him. Um, but that's kind of the, the extreme on that. Um, the first thing you're going to need to do is to walk through what I call the questionnaire. Um, it's a bunch of questions that you rate one through five, and they go in some different categories that are going to correspond to what's on the grading criteria on the second page. Um, basically, it's kind of to get your mind set in, this, in the right mode. Um, like our discussion board questions and that kind of stuff. Um, see how you're doing. Um, see what you can figure out. Um, some of them will work really well for you. Others won't apply to you and that's fine. Um, but fill that out. Um, easiest way to do it, download, um, highlight your answer. You know, use the little highlight pen in Word and then type in your um, answers in the, the, the reflection section. Um, highlight those lines and then just type over okay or you can handwrite it and take a picture and send it to me too either way it works um, the survey will help you identify basic parts and then you can elaborate on those in your in your own paper as much as you need to um, I'm going to have that be due on um, October 11th and then which is before we go on fall break and then the rough draft basically as far as you can get into the paper um, on the 25th of October, which is after we come back from fall break. And then the final draft will be due November 8th. Okay, get those out of the way. Um, there are some explanations here on the assignment sheet. Um, 
here's the rough draft, a more or less complete iteration, okay? Your first draft at writing all this stuff down, okay? Um, I'm going to give you feedback. I'm going to say, hey, you're doing this great. Hey, you forgot this one section. We'll get to the sections here in a minute, okay? Um, if you need a follow-up draft, more than, more than happy to see another one. Um, you weren't sure where you were going with it and you only got a page and a half and you want me to look at three pages before you do the final, that's great too, whatever works. Um, you'll need for the, for the actual final draft, you'll need at least four body paragraphs um, and a conclusion. Um, and we're going to look at the grading criteria here in a minute. But the, the final draft is going to be due Thursday, November 8th. Mm. So, on page two, your essay needs to have an introduction. Okay, identify your main ideas, maybe give a crucial definition. Okay, you can use, you know, the worldview definition. Maybe you have something else you need to define for us. Okay, um, and kind of what you're going to look at, your timeline. I'm going to look at me from the moment I was born until now. Okay, um, that could be kind of long, even if you are only 13. Um, so you need at least a paragraph that examines the origins of your ethics. Okay, why do you think something's right or wrong? So early education, your home life, memories, okay, sometimes your religion, um, a paragraph or a section that looks at the reasons you believe in certain things. What's right and wrong? Why are you here? Like at JCC maybe, on the planet maybe, okay, in your family. Um, what's your religious background if you have one, okay? What's it done to you or for you? Um, a paragraph that compares your worldview to other folks, other options. Maybe you're the oddball in your family, or maybe your brother or sister is the oddball in your family. You don't want to be like them. Um, or maybe you wish you were more like them, but it just doesn't work that way. So some way to look at a difference in worldview. Maybe none of that's true, and your worldview is very different from what you see in social media or on TV. That's a good difference. Okay. Um, another section, how do you use it? How do you use your worldview? Give me a concrete example of a way that you have used your worldview to make a decision. Why are you here at JCC? Why did you buy the car or truck you have? Okay. Why did you choose the boyfriend or girlfriend you have? Wife, husband, whatever. Okay. Um, and then a conclusion that sums it up. Make sure that you're using good transitions and organization, conventions and formatting. You do not need a works cited page unless you're quoting folks. Okay. If you're using you know, what color is my parachute as your background? Okay, great. So you're going to look at that. If you're going to quote from a book, um, whether it's a sacred text or another kind of book, you need a, you need a work cited page. Other than that, you don't. My grandfather always said this. Great. You don't have to quote. You don't have to cite grandpa. That's okay. Um, and really, if you write out your sacred text issues in, in the actual paper, you probably wouldn't need to do that either. When in doubt, cite it. That's just how it works. Um, again, I have the rubric, the rubric for your points, professionalism, clarity, relevance, reasoning, and utility. Um, the reasoning one may be a little bit weird because this is a narrative. Okay, You're telling me a story. Um, and we like stories. I love stories. I like to hear about people's lives. Um, but I, I also want you to use this to kind of discover things about yourself that maybe without this class you wouldn't have known or you wouldn't have realized, okay? Um, there is a really good section on P the Purdue Owl on narratives and different kinds of narratives. Um, and so have a look there, make sure that you're kind of in the ballpark. Um, as usual, if you have questions, email me, ask me, let me know. Um, I'm more than happy to walk through things with you. Um, please, please, please make sure that you're giving yourself enough time when you sit down to write to actually get something out. Um, sometimes the best thing to do is to just free write it. Okay, don't worry about spelling or punctuation or anything. Handwrite, move through, see what you have at the end, um, and then go from there. Just make sure that you're doing all those sections. You have four sections that you have to work through. Make sure you hit them all. They don't have to be in that order. Sometimes you can do two things at once, like my worldview is different, and here's how I know this because this is how I use it. Um, that's fine. Um, but make sure that you're giving it an order that somebody else can follow, okay? It's your life, but I have to read it. Um, so make sure it's something that can kind of come out that way. Um, one more thing, I will tell you that I'm very hard to shock. 
Um, I have been a sinner, for lack of a better word, my whole life, as everybody else is. Um, I've done some really stupid things in my life. Um, I've done some horrible things in my life, and you know, I'm, I'm better for it. Um, don't be afraid to, if something is very crucial to who you are, um, I'm good for that. Okay. And like I said, I'm not going to share your personal life with other folks. Um, that being said, um, if you have broken the law and it's something heinous, um, like rape or abuse or murder, um, don't put that in the paper. Okay. I'd hate to have to, um, report you to the authorities that way. Um, but otherwise, we're all good. Okay, so keep that in mind. When in doubt, email me. Let me know what you have questions about, and we will move forward with this. Um, this is a fun paper for you and a fun paper for me. Um, it'll help you a lot, kind of figure out where you are. And for those of you who are just finishing high school, this is a great time to kind of process all of that. Um, with a sympathetic ear, um, but somebody that or an online class, you don't have to come and look at me every day. So that works too. Um, when in doubt, ask. So move onward with your paper, and we'll go on from there. Have a great day.